In this video, we're going to break down how to play like Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo by himself. The player I play good with the left, with the right, with the head. It's no secret that Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the hardest working footballers who has ever played the game. He's always the first to training and the last to leave. So if you want to play like Cristiano, you need to get to training early and you need to stay late and spend more time self-developing and trying to improve your game than any other player. The Cristiano Ronaldo Chop. This is one of Cristiano's signature moves and he's been doing it for years. This move is incredibly difficult to defend against, especially if you time it correctly. The key to this move is to keep an eye on your defender as he approaches and to chop the ball behind your standing leg using the inside of your foot. Once you've made the chop, accelerate away. Step over. From the beginning of his career, Cristiano Ronaldo has been a king of stepovers. He uses stepovers to bamboozle defenders and they never know if he's going to go left or right. Practice stepovers to increase your speed and technique. Once you master the basic stepover, you can start to implement different combinations just like Cristiano. Penalties. Throughout his career, Cristiano Ronaldo has been a penalty taker at every single club that he's played for. This is not by accident. This comes from many hours of training and practicing to perfect his penalty taking technique. So if you want to be like Cristiano Ronaldo, you need to practice your penalties. Shooting. Ronaldo! Of course! Cristiano Ronaldo has an incredible shot and this is something that he has developed over the years. According to Rio Ferdinand, when Cristiano first moved to Manchester United, his shooting wasn't that impressive, but he used to stay after training, take a bag of balls and go and practice shooting on his own for hours. When it comes to shooting, the more you practice, the better you get. And it's advisable to film yourself shooting so that you can watch the tape back and analyze your shooting technique to see where you can improve. The knuckleball. Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the few players who's managed to score some incredible goals using the knuckleball technique. A knuckleball is achieved when you strike the ball in such a way that it has minimal spin, which leads to lots of movement in the air, which is an absolute nightmare for goalkeepers to save. There are different techniques to the knuckleball. Players like Kevin De Bruyne opt for a topspin knuckleball, which gets dip as well as movement. But for maximum sideways movement, you want to aim for no spin on the ball. That's a knuckleball. Tough one to work on. It's going to take some time, but if you stick at it, you can learn it. And trust me, goalkeepers hate the knuckleball. Speed. Cristiano Ronaldo has been known for his scintillating speed on the pitch. A lot of this will be genetic, but there are things you can do to improve your speed. Cristiano Ronaldo has spent hours and hours in the gym over the course of his career, working on his speed, training his legs so that they're powerful. This not only aids him in his durability, but also enhances his ability to have explosive pace. Speed with the ball. Cristiano Ronaldo can dribble with the ball, keeping the ball under control at incredible speeds. This is something that can be developed through lots of training. Next time you're on a pitch, practice moving as fast as you can while keeping the ball under control. Strength and conditioning. Cristiano Ronaldo has an incredible physique which he has had to work extremely hard for. His dedication to his strength and conditioning over the years has helped to give him an edge over other players who simply don't work as hard as he does. Movement off the ball. Cristiano Ronaldo's movement is phenomenal and this is a skill in itself. Good movement can be developed through lots of training and good coaches can help you to understand how to move when you haven't got the ball. Here's one example of movement off the ball. This is called reverse movement, where you start going in one direction and then when the defender doesn't expect it, you quickly change and move in the other direction. This is incredibly difficult to defend against because the defender has to go with you when you run and he doesn't know if and when you're going to check back. Heading. Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the most prolific headers in the game. So many of his goals have been scored using his head, more than most players in fact. Heading can be a skill that many players neglect, but not Cristiano Ronaldo. So if you want to play like Cristiano, you have to spend hours practicing heading the ball. 
vertical jump height. Cristiano Ronaldo has stunned experts with his ability to jump higher than many NBA players. There are specific exercises that you can do to help increase your vertical jump height. You can research what these are and if you do them consistently, you can increase your vertical jump height just like Cristiano Ronaldo. When Cristiano scored his famous headed goal for Juve against Sampdoria, his jump height was recorded at a whopping 2.56 meters. And the craziest thing is, that wasn't even his highest jump on record. Poaching in the box. Most of Cristiano Ronaldo's goals are scored from inside the box. When I bumped into him a few years ago, he even mentioned that in the earlier part of his career, he used to do more skills, whereas in the later part of his career, his focus was goals. And to maximize the amount of goals that he scores, Cristiano Ronaldo uses very clever movement inside the box. The first touch. Any pro will tell you the importance of having a good first touch. Often this can be the difference between an amateur player and a professional. And Cristiano Ronaldo has one of the best first touches in world football. One way to practice your first touch is to get a friend to ping you the ball and just practice bringing the ball down under control. And the first touch can also be used as an actual skill move to be your defender. Here are some other qualities that you'll need to develop if you want to be like Cristiano Ronaldo. Ignore the noise. Throughout his career, Cristiano Ronaldo has had to put up with so much criticism and scrutiny, but he has demonstrated time and time again an incredible ability to ignore the noise and the haters and keep working hard, self-developing, improving and producing. The people really don't know you. Who is the people to judge something that they don't know? A winner's mindset. Cristiano Ronaldo is an ultimate competitor and he always plays to win. He also tries to inspire and motivate his teammates to also have a winning mindset. In my mind, in my area, I think I'm the best. Professionalism and dedication. Any player who has played with Cristiano Ronaldo will have seen that his level of professionalism and dedication is something that is truly incredible and inspiring and at a higher level than just about every other player in the world. You have to work. I try to do it almost every day. This is why I'm in a top level many, many years. Self-belief. Throughout his career, Cristiano Ronaldo has always had doubters and naysayers. And a lot of you watching this video will be able to relate to people telling you that you cannot do something. Cristiano Ronaldo is no different and throughout his career, he has had to contend with all sorts of doubters, naysayers and negativity. But he has not allowed this to deter him from having an unwavering belief in himself. We have a long way to improve because for me the most important thing is for you to look yourself and say I can do it better. 